Okay guys, so today we are going to build an appointment booking website. So it doesn't matter which industry you're in, this will work for everyone. And for instance, if you're a doctor, a dentist, a beautician, a hairdresser, a tattoo artist, or even if you offer piano lessons, this appointment booking will work for you. So this tutorial is suitable for beginners. So if you don't have any prior experience designing website, that's not a problem as we'll be using a drag and drop page builder, which is super user friendly and very intuitive to use. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll end up with a beautiful website like this one with your own logo, a menu section. You'll have a direct call to action uh, to book an appointment right here in the menu section. Just below that, we have book a free consultation, a form that will be sent out to you. And if you scroll down, as you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely really professional looking indeed. And I'm going to show you how to add Google Maps as well. And it's super easy to book an appointment and select among different locations, different services, different workers, and then select your date and a time slot. Enter your details and that's it. Okay guys, so are you ready? So let's dive right into it. Okay, so as always, we're gonna start by taking care of our hosting and domain name registration because without hosting and without domain name, you cannot have a website. So these are the two starting points that you absolutely need. These are the essentials. So let's get started with this. And for this, we're gonna head to my website now. So mrwebreviews.com and you can either type at the end of the URL forward slash hosting, as you can see here on screen, or you can click on the menu link here in the menu tab that says hosting, or you can click on the uh, first link in the description below. Any of those methods will bring you to the same place regardless. So let's go and click on this. Okay, so let's click on hosting. There you go. And as you can see, this is bringing us to another page, which is from Hostinger. So Hostinger is the hosting company that we're going to use for our hosting and domain name registration. So as you can see, this is a co-branded page that I have with Hostinger. And the reason is because they offer a special discounts for my viewers and subscribers. As you can see here, you can get up to 80% off uh, your web hosting plans so 80% off up to 80% off so this is absolutely amazing value as you can understand and I'm also going to give you a coupon code in the next step that will give you access to an extra 5% discount at checkout so keep an eye on this now let me show you what I mean by this Hostinger is this is where I host all my website all of my Mr. Web Reviews websites for all my tutorials and all that and the reason being is that first, they are very competitive price wise. And secondly, they are absolutely fantastic. Their service is great. And as always, I'm a great advocate for why should you pay more when you can pay less. In this case, you get an absolutely outstanding deal and the same quality service as you would get from more ex expensive providers. So this is basically it. And one thing that's very important as well with hosting companies is when you run into problems, which will happen, you know, it's inescapable, it will happen at some, at some stage, you might run into problems. Uh, and when you contact Hostinger, when you contact the support team, they reply to you within the hour. So it's very quick as well and very often even shorter than that. And it did happen to me that I ran into uh, a few uh, issues. I, uh, I reached out to them and they got everything sorted immediately. And again, when it comes down to a hosting company, this is what you want. You want absolutely 100% certainty that you will get the support needed when you need it. Okay, so let's scroll down the page now a little bit. So as you can see, we are presented with three different options here. So we have the single shared hosting premium and business so what's the difference between those three ones as you can see the premium one is marked at, as being the most popular one and there's a good reason for this i'm going to show you in a second so this one you can save up to 90 percent 90 percent this one up to 80 percent and the business one up to 75 percent now regardless of the price let's have a look now at the specs so you can see here the single, as you can glean from its name, is for one website only. So if you're planning to host more than one website, uh, if you 
planning to have more than one website on your hosting, uh, this is not for you, definitely. If you're only planning to get one website done, that's fair enough, this one would suffice. Now, as always, they offer big storage space, which is SSD storage. So SSD is the fastest hard drive available on the market, which means that your hosting and the access to your website will be lightning fast as well, which is absolutely great, obviously, because when you want a, a hosting, a good hosting, the loading page, the loading time is crucially important as well for your SEO ranking and all of that. So very important indeed. Now you can see here, with a single one, you can only have one email account. So that means that if you have your domain name.com, you can only have info at or sales at or your name at hello at that's it only one email account. So this as well might be a, a bit of a restriction for you. Maybe you need more than one account, in which case you'll have to get uh, the premium version then. And then with this one, we get a free SSL certificate certificate throughout the range so all of these three get the free ssl certificate the valued at 11 dollars 99 95 so what is an ssl certificate if you look next to the the web address here you have a padlock and that padlock signifies that your website is safe and secure to uh, share information uh, especially if you're planning to take payments over uh, the internet use on your website using paypal maybe or, or stripe now this one doesn't, uh, you don't get the free domain. So the, the other two get free, you get a free domain with the other two. So these ones is, as you can see, is $8.99 already. So if you factor these one in, $8.99 into this bundle, the premium one, it's already more advantages. And you don't get Google Ads credit. They'll give you a bit of credit uh, to get you started to promote your business online, which is absolutely amazing as well. So this one is limited to 100 gig of bandwidth. Now, to be honest, if it's just one website, you have 100 gig of bandwidth, it's plenty to be honest. So this is not really a restriction as is. Now, what is the big difference between this one and this one? Well, basically, as I said, you get free emails, as many emails as you want. So you could have info at, accounts at, um, service at, artwork at, or whichever you want, your name at, and then, and so on and so on. So you can create as many email accounts as you wish. You get free SSL certificate, you get free domain name valued at $8.99, you get Google ad credits as well, unlimited bandwidth, so absolutely amazing. And look at the price, it's only $2.99 per month. So starting at $2.99 per month. So for the sake of our tutorial here, I'm going to select this one, which is the most popular one and the most advantageous as well. So let's go ahead with this. Now from here, we have to select our billing cycle. So as you can see, we can select among four different options. Okay, you can see clearly here. So we have one month, 12 months, 24 months and 48 months. So obviously, the longer the period you tied in, the cheaper it gets. Uh, that's obviously, this is how they run their business. It's more advantageous for them. So they give you a bigger discount. Now, let's start with this one here, uh, the one month. So if you just want to try things out and say, okay, I'll just go on a pay as you go. That's fair enough. You can absolutely, there's no uh, problem with that. But bear in mind that it will cost you 10.99 and look at the difference, you know, 5.99, 3.79, 2 euro 19. That's four times the price, you know, almost four, five times the price of a, uh, if you were to take it on, on a four-year subscription. And then you also have the setup fee to pay, the $4.99. So the total for one month would cost you, let me see here at the bottom, uh, $19.66, including taxes. So that's almost $20 for one month. Now, bear this in mind. If you were to select 12 months, so here you can save up to 45%. Uh, thanks to uh, this uh, special page, uh, Mr. Web Review page. So it would cost you 71.88. So the normal price is 131.88 and you get $60 discount and then plus tax and the total will be $88.41. So which is great actually, you know, for a whole year compared to $20 for one month. This is already more advantageous. Now, let's say you wanted to go for 24 months. So we know it's costing us 71.88. So 70 times two, that would be about 140 maybe for two years. Look at this. Eh? 
$90 only. So you save another $50 if you go for 24 months. So this is great, isn't it? $90. So we were at $71.88, just about maybe $19 extra, and you get 24 months instead of uh, a, a large, a much larger amount, obviously, you know? Now, let's say you wanted to go for 48 months, so a full four years. Now, you fully committed, you're happy enough with them, and you go for the full four years. So, let's see, $90 times to 180 normally, you would say, yeah? Or twice the, 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 the length. So, with $105, look at this, $105 from 90 So, it's just an extra $15 to double, to have four years instead of two. So, I mean... This is amazing, isn't it? I find that amazing myself. Okay, just for the sake of our tutorial, I'm going to select the 12 months here. And then the next step, you need to select your uh, payment method. So you have credit card, you have PayPal, you have coin payments and Google Pay. So coin payments, it's all these virtual currencies like Bitcoins and all them. So I'm just going to select PayPal for now. As you can see, it would normally cost us one thirty-one eighty-eight, and then we get, we get forty-five percent discount on this bundle. So we still get free SSL certificate, free domain name, free Cloudflare protection, and free setup. And on top of that, forty-five percent discount. So sixty dollars off this amount, plus tax, obviously. Now here's the icing on the cake. I'm going to give you a, a code here. Have you a code? Yes, we do. So you type in here in all uh, in capital letters, Mr. Web Reviews, all in capital letters, and then click the plus sign here. So it's normally 88.41. And as you can see, we added an extra 5%, so we had 49% discount, now almost half price with 82% dollars and 21 cents all together thanks to this special page special conditions they're giving mr web review so now let's go to the next step let's click on uh, submit secure payment now since i selected paypal as my pay payment method i'm redirected to the paypal payment page but uh, whichever option you selected you'll be redirected to maybe a different page all you have to do at that stage is just click next and go through the checkout process and once you've gone through the checkout process, you will receive a couple of emails from hosting or uh, confirmation emails just to let you know that your hosting is ready. And once it's done, you can just go back to the hosting website and log in. And from here, just type in your credentials so your email address and password and click login again. And this will bring us to the admin panel. Okay, so this is where we are now. So the first step we need to take care of now is to claim our free domain. So for this, we click on claim domain. Okay, and right here, you will type the domain name that you'd like to register. So if you're building a, an appointment a booking website for, let's say, a plumber, uh, you might type in your domain name here. I don't know, maybe best plumber in London or something maybe it's a nail salon you have whichever it is just type in the domain name you'd wish to register so your domain name and you can select the extension so the most popular one obviously is .com but uh, the only downside because it's the most popular one it might not be available as well so you might type in for instance a uh, nail salon atlanta it might be taken already maybe there's already 10 12 other uh, nail salons in Atlanta, in which case your domain domain name is very likely to be taken already, unless you have your own special name of your salon you could use, or maybe a, a different name altogether. So you might have to go through a few different options here, a few different uh, names uh, just to find the right one. Now you have .com, but you can select different options as well. You can have .shop, .site, .xyz, .me, um, dot fun and then what does you have dot net dot info so if you don't find it as a dot com you might select another extension it's really up to you so basically all you have to do is type your domain name dot com and then click claim domain and once you've clicked on claim domain if it's available 
you go through the registration process seemingly very simply just one click if it's not available you you'll be prompted with a message that will let you know that this domain name is already registered please try another one in which case you'll have to try a different option and now that our domain name is registered back to our admin panel here so we're going to take care of our setup so we need to uh, set up our premium shared hosting so basically take care of all the different steps now and make sure all is set up properly so for this as you can see i have a few here i have two of them because i have different accounts with them but you'll only have one normally uh, here just the one so all you have to do is click either on the premium shared hosting title here on or the button here so let's click on this and as you can see we prompted with the message welcome to hostinger hello and then follow the guided setup so all we have to do basically is click start now okay and in, in here we have to select the domain name we just registered so it might not show up immediately so normally it should show up here automatically but if it doesn't just click on the drop down menu and go and select it so i have one registered here already that's bestlondonplumber.com so this is just a, a random uh, domain name i registered click on select so which way do you want to go uh, do you want to build a new website or do you want to migrate a website so we're not going to select either of them i'm going to select the small option here at the bottom that says skip i will start from scratch because this is what we're going to do we're going to start from scratch and then let's finish setting up all we have to do now just one click click finish setup and we're all done already for this step okay we're nearly there now for setting up our hosting and then the next step is once your hosting is set up you will see this new section here uh, that says hosting and you'll have your domain name.com uh, right here so for my case it's mrwebreviewstutorials.com because that's the one i'm using for all my tutorials but you'll have your own domain name.com uh, right here and all you have to do is click on it or click on manage whichever way so let's click on this now and now this we we are redirected to the h panel so this is a different panel this is taking care of a hosting everything that's got to do with our hosting all the features all the settings of our hosting so as you can see we can have our wordpress dashboard we have our order account email accounts we can set up here domain names websites files database advanced and other so don't worry we're not going to use all of these we're just going to use a few of them features uh, there's a lot here you know we're not going to cover all this in this tutorial but feel free to discover uh, all these different options so from here we're going to set up an email address first before installing wordpress so what we do is just scroll down the page and you can see here we have emails and under this email title we're going to click on email accounts so click on this okay and if you scroll down the bottom you can see here we can enter the email address and the password so i'm just going to type in here uh, anything john.do at mr web reviews tutorials and i'm going to ask for a random uh, password to be generated so what you want to do is to save those credentials somewhere you know just to make sure when you because you'll need them later obviously and then click create there you go and now just like that in just one click of the mouse we have john.do at mrwebreviewstutorials.com so i'm just going to delete this for now because i won't need it it's just to show you how it works okay and once we're done here we go back to our uh, menu bar here on the side and we're going to click on website and auto installer because this is what we're going to do we're going to install wordpress now and this is how we can access it so scroll down now so website auto installer you'll be redirected to this page and we're going to click on wordpress so click on select and from here the first thing we're going to do is to make sure we select https instead of http so why is that so important because https is safe and secure which means it will activate the ssl certificate which will uh, tell your visitors that your website is safe and secure to use so we have https and then our domain name 
and this one here you want to leave it empty so don't type anything in that field altogether so we're going to use uh, we're going to type in um, a username so i'm going to put mr web reviews we have to create a password okay then your email address should be automatically populated here but if it's not there just type it in just in case and we're going to put the website title so mr web reviews that's it and then leave everything else exactly the way it is and then the only thing you need to take is always update to the latest available version so this is very important you know for security patches and all that make sure that your website is safe and secure as well and then we're just going to click install So this is going to take a few moments, obviously, you know, uh, depending on how fast your internet connection is. So don't worry, just let it run. Uh, it might take a minute, maybe two minutes, depending. So don't be anxious. It's normal. It's doing its thing. Okay. So this is done. So as you can see, there is no message, no notification that it is installed. Basically, you go back to this page and when you, you redirect it back to this page, it means that WordPress is installed. So all done, well done so far. So next step, we go to our dashboard. Click on dashboard again. Okay, so as you can see, we have force HTTPS. It's active at the moment. If it's not active, you might it might be disabled when you use it. Please make sure you enable it. So it has to be green. So again, this is for the SSL certificate. And then now we're going to access our WordPress dashboard. We're going to go to WordPress now. So edit website. And then you present it with this message. Welcome to the AIO SEO setup wizard skip all that we're going to delete this anyways we don't need it they're just trying to push you uh, some plugins you know and try to get you enrolled but we don't care about this at the moment so all we have to do now is just take care of cleaning up our wordpress dashboard and make sure that everything is set up properly so how can we do this okay so let me show you first this is our wordpress dashboard so on the left hand side we have our menu here so we have dashboard media pages comments uh, WP form, appearance, plugins, etc., etc. And all these settings, let me click on this now. Each and every time you click on something, it's going to give you a preview of the feature and tools required to set this up and uh, take care of that and customize it, obviously, you know. So this is all about appearance, about our theme, and how the layout of our website, what it looks like. This is all the plugins. So plugins are additional pieces of software, if you wish, that will add features and uh, options and uh, things that you can do from your website. So all we're going to do now at the moment is just going to plugins. And we're going to do a bit of cleaning up. As you can see, we have all these plugins installed and we don't need uh, all of them anyway. So uh, what thing, one thing we're going to do is just delete a few. So we can delete this one. Askimet anti-spam, don't need it. Hello Dolly, don't need this. Opt-in monster, so we're going to deactivate this. Opt-in monster, deactivate all-in-one WordPress migration. Deactivate all-in-one SEO. Deactivate Google Analytics. Click skip and deactivate. We're going to get rid of all of this. Deactivate this as well. And now select all of these now. Select them all except light speed. All you, the, the only one we're going to keep is light speed. And now I'm going to uh, click on bulk actions and then delete. Apply. Okay. And that's it. And now we're going to deactivate uh, the light speed cache. So the light speed cache basically is a caching feature that will help speed up your website. Uh, the loading time of your website especially so it is very very convenient very handy and very useful but as we will be working on our website it's not uh, convenient at all because it will not reflect immediately on uh, the changes we're going to make will not reflect immediately on the front end so we want to deactivate that while working on our website so deactivate 
And now we want to add an additional plugin. So we're going to add a maintenance plugin. So we're going to click add new. And in the search box type maintenance. Okay. And the very first one here, as you can see, has over 600,000 plus active installation from Web Factory. I've been using this one for years. It's absolutely great. Super easy to install. And just one click of the mouse, you can enable and disable it. So very nice. So just click install. And basically a maintenance page is something that uh, visitors coming from the outside world trying to visit your website will see. But if you are logged in as an admin, you can access your website, but no one else will, which is nice because you don't want people to access your website as you're working on it while it's under construction. Okay, and now we click activate. Okay, so this is done now. So we have maintenance settings activated. So if you go into maintenance now, let me show you very quickly. Just make sure the maintenance mode is on. It should be on by default once you install it. So let me show you very quickly what our website looks like at the moment. So it's very basic indeed. So this is just the 2021 theme uh, that comes with WordPress. So nothing appealing at all. Not really attractive at all. Very, very basic indeed. But just let me show you. So we are logged in as an admin here in, the, in our uh, dashboard, WordPress dashboard. But if you go and open this in an incognito page, just like that, this is what anyone from the outside world will see if they try to access your website. So basically, no one will be able to access your website while the maintenance mode is on. Okay, next step, let's go into our settings. We're going to general. And we're going to make sure that these settings are correct as well. So you will want to make sure that your site title is typed in properly. So it's Mr. Web Reviews. And tagline, you, you're going to select your tagline. So it could be your slogan, it could be your, your USP or whatever it is, you know. Free web design tutorials, for instance. And that's basically it. So make sure your email address is correct here as well, because everything that's got to do with your website, all the messages and information and communication will be sent to that email address. So make sure this is correct as well. And then click Save. And then one more step, we're going to Permalinks. And here we're going to select post name, this one here. So this is basically how our URLs will be displayed. So let's say if we have a page that's called about us, it will display your domain name.com forward slash about hyphen us. And if it's, uh, for instance, contact us, it could be contact hyphen us, which is very good for SEO purposes and readability and also for your visitors to know where they are on your website. So this is very important as well. So please make sure you click post name and then click save. That's it. That's us done for the settings now. So let's go down to the nitty gritty now. The funny part is the layout and the look of our website, the theme. So as you can see, very basic looking at the moment, not really appealing at all. So let's go and install a beautiful theme that we can customize and make it our own. So back to our WordPress dashboard. We're going to appearance this time, themes. And from here, as you can see, this is the 2021. So this is the one we have uh, at the moment. So we're going to add a new, click add new. And in the search theme box here, you're going to type in Astra. There you go. So this is the one we're interested in, Astra here. So if you hover on top, you see you have a new button that shows up and it says install and preview. So let's click on install. And then all we have to do is to activate our theme. So click activate. There you go. So as you can see, we prompted with a message here. Thank you for installing Astra. Did you know Astra comes with dozens of ready to use starter templates? And this is why I love this uh, theme so much, because it comes with pre-built uh, starter templates that you can use. So it fits any type of industry. You could be a builder. You could be a plumber, you could be a nail salon, you could be a piano, offering piano lessons, you could be an artist, whichever industry and lines of business that you're in, you will find something that matches your own requirements. So all we have to do basically is get started. Click on this now, get started. Okay, nearly there now, activating. 
and from here we have to select our page builder so we have the choice among th four different options here elementor beaver builder gutenberg and breezy so gutenberg comes by default with wordpress beaver builder and breezy are two also a very uh common and popular ones but Elementor is by far the most popular of all uh, because it is so comprehensive, so easy to use, and you can change any settings you want. Once you master Elementor, you can literally build anything uh, you can think of. Literally anything you can think of. So what we're going to do now is just click on Elementor because this is the obvious choice. So let's click on Elementor. Boom. And look at this. Now we have all these pre-built templates. So as you can see, we have all these templates. So if we scroll down, you have a bit of everything for everyone. Something about babies, uh, maybe organic shop, bike shop. What do we have? We have a lawyer here, yoga studio, martial arts, restaurant. As you can see, a plethora of choice here. So many of them. Now, as you may have noticed, some of them have an agency tag on top. So these are premium themes, premium templates. So you'll have to buy the premium version for this. And again, I will leave a link in the description below. But normally, you should be able to find something in the free section that would fit your own requirements. But again, if you can't find anything that matches your own uh, personal requirements, you can always get the uh, premium version. So if you wanted to see only all the free ones, you can click on the drop down menu and click on free. And now from here, all these on screen are totally free to use. You know, all of them are free. So as you can see, we have a clothing shop here, e-commerce website. We have a organic shop. What do we have? Meditation. We have a lawyer, a musician, a roofing company, online courses, a freelancer, a chef. So as you can see, there's a bit of everything for everyone, obviously, you know. And if you wanted to see what it looks like, all you have to do is click on it. So let's say you wanted to see what this one looks like. Click on it. And you can see this one is pharmaceutical company and it comes with five different pages. So you have your homepage, company, contact, research, R&D and product. And if you want to have a preview, all you have to do is click, scroll, scroll uh, up and down the page. So this is what our homepage will look like. So if you're not happy with this, you can always come back and then click on another one. So let's say you'd rather see this one maybe. And basically you can import, so let me remove myself for a second here. <clears throat> you can import either the complete site by clicking import complete site, or you can import just one page at a time. So if you wanted just to see the home page, which is this one, and you like the home page from uh, this template, you can import the home page from this one. Now, if you wanted to have maybe the about us section from this one, you can import the about us section from here just by clicking import about us and you can uh, mix and match basically up until you have the right uh, combination so just for the sake of our tutorial here uh, we're gonna go and have a because we're building an appointment uh, booking system here uh, let's say we're gonna maybe install a dentist website so dentist okay so we have two of them here so dentist yes two of them so we have a dentist clinic and dental clinic. This one seems to have already um, a, a, an appointment booking system here. So we can use this one maybe. So I don't know why it's not showing up. But anyways, we can have a preview here. If we click on this, you can see this is what our website looks like. So we can get an appointment. So we have all this already pre-built for, for us, which is very convenient for our uh, demo here, a tutorial. And as you scroll down, it looks very, very professional, doesn't it? Very modern looking as well. So let's go ahead with this. So we can close that. And again, I don't know why it's not showing up here, but all we have to do basically is click. Let me show you again here. Oops. So import complete site. So all we have to do is click on this now. There you go. And you have to fill in those details. So select whatever... Uh, is relevant to you and for our tutorial here i'm just going to skip i'm not going to enter any details just skip and there you go so your selected website is being imported now bear in mind it's going to take maybe two three minutes uh, again depending on how fast your internet connection is so don't be anxious it's normal let it run in the background
Okay, so this is fully imported now, as you can see, imported successfully. Hooray, the website imported successfully. So we can have a quick look at our website now. So this is what our website used to look like before the installation. So let's refresh. And as you can see, our website looks fantastic, very professional indeed. And if you scroll down, look at this, or oh, even the combination of colors and all that. It looks very, very professional. So let's go back to the top. As you can see, we have a button here in our menu section that says get appointment. And we're going to use that button to link it to our booking system. And as you can see, we have a book a free consultation form here. So we're going to use both of these options here to book our appointment. So let's go ahead with this and let's go and install our next plugin now. So for this, OK, so this is done perfect. So we can close this now. So we go back to plugins and we're going to add new. And in the search box, you're going to type in easy appointments. There you go. And it's the very first one here that shows up from Nicola Longcar with 20,000 plus active installation. <clears throat> so I tried a few ones, to be honest. I tried um, Web App Booking as well, which is uh, absolutely great. But there are so many options. It's actually uh, overwhelming. It was too much. So I found this one here, Easy Appointments, and it's actually straightforward, straight to the point, very easy to follow. And you're going to see it's absolutely great. So let me show you all the different details here. So you can have multiple locations. So you have a, maybe if you if you run a dental clinic, maybe you have one in London, one in Manchester, maybe one in Birmingham or different locations, you know, multiple services. So it could be dental service, but you could have a GP, you could have massage, whichever it is, maybe under the same roof. And then you have multiple workers as well. So we can set up different workers. So maybe uh, in your dental clinic, you have five doctors working there, in which case you have five workers. And so you can assign different slots, different times, different booking for each and every one, which is very nice. And you can also set up uh, email notifications and uh, custom fields. You can create your own custom fields for these forms and everything like this. And you can even have your own... Um, vacation dates uh, set up as well in the system so that no one can book if someone is actually on holiday at that time so what we're going to do basically is just install that so from here you can click straight on the install now button okay and from here now we click activate right so now this is done and as you can see we have an additional tab here in our menu section and you're going to see exactly what I mean by it's so easy and straightforward and uh, super user friendly as well. Now, if I hover on top, you can see we have appointments, locations, services, employees, connections, settings, tools, vacations and report. So it's very easy to find every uh, item and every feature you want to use very easily by just hovering, uh, using this uh, tab. And you have all your tools necessary for your booking system right here. OK, so let's start setting this up. So as you can see, they're all by chronological order. So from one to six. So let's start with our locations. So right here, as you can see, we can add our locations. So depending on how many locations you have, it could be just one. If you if you only have one location, that's fine. Just click add location and we're just going to add one. Now, if you have multiple locations uh, within the same country or maybe here over different countries, you can create them right here uh, using this feature. So the name, I'm going to put uh, location one. So you're going to put the address here. So I'm just going to put a random numbers. One, two, three, street name. And then we're going to put the location. So I'm just going to put London for now and then save. OK, so now we have one location set up already. So if you wanted to add another one, all you have to do is add another location. So just for the sake of our tutorial, let's go ahead with the second one. So let's call this location two. And then we have uh, two, three, four street name. And we're going to say this time is maybe in Manchester. OK, save. There you go. So this would be for um, a dentist that would have maybe uh, two different clinics 
uh, nationwide. So they have one in London and one in Manchester. So this is how you add locations. Next, we go into services. Okay. Okay, let's fill this out. So let's say we could have a routine check and the duration, let's say maybe 30 minutes. That would be about right. And then we have the slot step. So the slot step is how you break down your hour, basically. If you put 10 minutes here, uh, your hour will be divided in six sections. So it's 10 minutes each. If you put 20 minutes, your, your hour will be divided in three different sections. But because we put 30 minutes, it'd be ideal to have maybe a 10 minutes uh, slot step. And then block before and block after. This is a buffer, basically, before and after. So maybe you can put maybe uh, 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after just to be on the safe side. Because you always have... Um, Customers that might be a bit late or a bit uh, early, and then you can uh, start the appointment regardless, you know. And then we have the price, so maybe we're going to put 80 for this, and then save. So there you go, we have our first service set up, and let's add another one now. So let's call this maybe uh, teeth whitening, maybe. Sure, why not? Uh, duration, maybe that's a full whitening. And then maybe 60 minutes for this all together. And then we have a slot step of 10 minutes. We're going to book 10 minutes before and uh, 10 minutes after. And the price for this one is maybe 165, let's say. Okay. And then we click save. So there you go. That's all we need really for our tutorials. It's just two uh, examples here. So this is fine. You're going to just leave it as this, but obviously you're going to add all your services one by one. Take your time, you know, to make it, uh, to do it right. So then we add our employees. Okay. So we have a name, description, email, and phone. So let's go with uh, John Doe first. And then John Doe is a dentist. His email would be John dot do at gmail.com and we're going to put a phone number one two three four five six seven eight this is grand okay save and then we're going to add a second one and then we have maybe joe blog our description is also a dentist so we have joe dot blog at gmail.com I wonder if there's actually someone who has that email address. And the phone number, one, two, three, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe this time. And then save. Right. So now we have <clears throat> our different locations, different services, and different employees. And then we have our connections. So basically, connections are a link in between those three different areas here. So this is where you're going to set up employees and what type of services they provide and at which location. And then we can select the date as well. So let me show you very quickly. So connections, if we add a new connection now, you can see you can select locations now. So these are the location. Obviously, this is all by chronological order. So we need to start with location, services, employees, at least one of each. You need to set up at least one of each. And then only then we can set up a connection. So as you can see, we have to select a location. So we're going to select location one for now. And then you select a service. So let's say routine check. And then who's provided that, providing that service? Let's say it is John Doe. Number of slots. Let's say one slot at a time. Days of the week. So we need to select our day. So he's working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Let's say, okay. And then date range. So you can define uh, when this is going to be active. So maybe he's traveling between locations. Maybe uh, uh, one month is in London and the other month is in, is in uh, Manchester. I don't know. Uh, any case scenario, basically, you know. So you can set this up here with the date range. And the same for the time. So let's say he would start at 9 uh, a.m. or maybe 9.30. 9.30 in the morning would be the first appointment. And he ends up at 4.30 in the evening, uh, no, sorry, no, it's not 4.30, is it? Let me go back. Uh, 16.30. Yep. Okay, there you go. And is working, yes or no? 
So he's not on holiday, he's working at the moment. And then you can save simply like this. There you go. So now if someone goes on your website and try to book an appointment, they'll find out that at location one, they can select John Doe for routine check and they can book one slot at a time. So very easy as you can see, isn't it? So let's add another connection. So we have location one. We're going to add uh, teeth whitening as well. Joe Block can do that once again. So we're going to select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Or maybe the teeth whitening is only, let's say, on Wednesdays and, th and Fridays. Okay? Just only two days during the week we can uh, book teeth whitening appointments. And again, we're going to have a starting date. So let's say it's from 10 a.m. until maybe 2 p.m. There you go. And then it's working. Yes. And then we click save. So now we have Joe Blog at location one who provides two different types of services and you can book him in for either of those. And this is why we have only one slot because you cannot uh, dual book basically and can have two appointments. You cannot book Joe Blog for teeth whitening and Joe Blog for routine check at the same time. And this is why it's only one slot available. Okay. So this is it, basically, you know. Now let's do the same thing for location two. So add connection. We're going to select location two. We're going to select a routine check. We're going to have Joe blog this time. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to have uh, from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Okay, and he's working. Yes, save. And then another one, we're going to have location two, teeth whitening, jaw blog, on the, uh, let's say Wednesday and Friday again. So we're going to start at nine up until two. It's working, yes, and then save. So now we have two locations, as you can see. So this is absolutely fine. Okay, so I took a few minutes there. I created a sample page here with the booking system on it. Let me show you what it looks like already. So as you can see, we have our doctor uh, appointment here. So we, the first thing we need to do is to select the location. So as you can see, we have one and two. So let's select location one. And then you can select the service. So it's either teeth whitening or routine check. So let's go with routine check. And at location one, we only have one doctor. But if we had more than one doctor at the location, you can select uh, any of them, you know, basically. So we have John Doe here. And as you can see, we have a calendar now. So we can select between 10 and 16 and 20 past four because we said we finished at half four because this is the last appointment because our appointment lasts half an hour. So we finish at five. So let's say we get the first one here in the morning. And there you go. After this, you have to enter your email, name, phone number and description. And as you can see, we have location one. This is the, the booking, the, the review of our booking, basically. So it's very, very easy, isn't it? And all they have to do, basically, is to submit. And there you go, uh, sorted already. So let's go back to our settings here very quickly. So you can see we have number five, settings. So there is much to do in the general tab. So basically, you can leave everything at this. It's absolutely fine, unless you want to change this one max number of appointment. So basically, as you can see here, number of appointment that one visitor can make reservation before limit alert is shown. So basically, yes, if someone was to book two or three or four appointments the same day, obviously, there's maybe a mistake there. Or maybe they're submitting the same thing several times and you don't want to basically lose uh appointing appointment slots you know uh, because of this so you might limit this maybe to two so let's put two here for now and as always in between steps you always save okay save so we're going to mail notifications so here you have pending reservation cancelled confirmed and admin so admin that's for you so that's the confirmation for yourself and everything else is pending so pending when you receive the first email is not confirmed yet and then it has been confirmed, it has been cancelled, and then you can confirm the reservation afterwards. So it's a four steps process, basically. So in here, pending, you can use those available tags. So let's say you wanted to, instead of pending, thank you for booking an appointment on the, and then at the, clinic 
there you go and now we're going to fill up those spaces okay under so this would be the date so let's look for a date now do we have a date yes date here so that's the date of the appointment i believe just to make sure now just one second yes okay so we have the date and then start and end yes well that's okay on the and then we can put the date and then from and then start date end date so we could have this just gonna copy those two from remove the comma up until and then the time at the and at the clinic so this is the location address so we could have maybe just a name let me see location location just the location here that's it okay we're just going to put location Control c and Control v there you go so it might look a bit of a gibberish at the moment you know but what it will read basically is when someone get the email after this it will read thank you for booking an appointment on the 6th of april from 9 a.m up until 9 30 at the location one clinic that's it basically you know so it's very simple and you can do this with all of them and just replace them you know here we can have a reservation then we have cancelled confirmed and admin that's for yourself so reservation uh thank you for so this is a confirmation email to let you know your appointment is booked that's it and now thank you for your uh so we can confirm that we have now cancelled your appointment there you go and confirmed it could be the same basically as this one okay there you go and for the admin is just for yourself so all you want to do maybe is new booking then you have the date and then you can have the hour because that's all you need you know and then the location obviously and maybe you could have the doctor's name for doctor and then we're going to fetch the name now so where is this one now let me see service name service duration service pro ah worker name there you go that's it so basically when you receive the confirmation email yourself just to let you know that there's a new booking you'll have the date start update the location and who's gonna uh who was booked for the job so there you go and then you save after this okay and then in the email section there's a few more uh, small options you can tick so send email to worker so you can tick that if you wanted to send an email directly to each and every doctor each time there's a booking done or send email to user so to user you'd want to click that, tick that anyways you know so we can save then and that's it okay we're done for the emails now so next step full calendar short code so there isn't much to do here just leave as is that's fine labels is the same there's not much to do service is basically called service location is location worker is worker and done message is done so unless you want to translate that in a different language maybe if you're from a, a non-english speaking country you might want to change this for your own language obviously you know and then we have date and time so this is just uh, the format basically so uh, you can choose 0 to 24 so this would be maybe uh, in europe on the continent and maybe am pm would be more for english speaking countries so uh, i'm based in in ireland here so i'm going to select am pm and calendar localization uh, english us but you select your your zone obviously right there and then you save obviously oh yes and then we have the block time so the block time again you can set this up so maybe set this up to 10 minutes save so as you can see here in the the small info box here we have in minutes prevent visitors uh, from making an appointment 
if there is there are less minutes minutes than this so they cannot book any appointment if there's less than 10 minutes because that's the minimum time slot now it could be half an hour it's really up to you it could be an hour uh it, it's all depending on your uh, business model obviously and then we have custom fields so right here you can see we have email name phone and description so let me show you again from the form itself so this is our appointment booking system on the front end and it's asking us for an email name phone and description but maybe you want to insert an additional field you want to ask something else or maybe you don't need the phone number maybe you just need the email address the name and description you're happy enough so basically from here you can change everything you want very simply you know so if you didn't want the phone number for instance you can just open this and then click delete and then remove it all together and that's it the phone number be gone so you don't need it maybe maybe you don't need the phone number so let's delete this okay so we don't need that but maybe you want to add another piece of information like uh, maybe do you have uh, an insurance or a medical card so medical card question mark and then in brackets yes or no basically you know and then click add okay and then in the placeholder it'll be the same let me see if there's anything no that's all yeah in the place or holder you can put yes or no and this is required and let's click add oh no sorry let's click let's delete this one sorry i made a mistake there that's it so we have this now so we have a email name description and medical card so let's go and have oh yeah i need to save it save it and then let's have a quick preview so let's select location one service routine check john doe we need to select a time okay so as you can see now we have email name description and medical card yes or no so they could just put yes and then email and that's it very simple isn't it so this is how you can tweak this around now we have the google recaptcha so we have v2 and v3 so google recaptcha basically is the anti-spam uh, feature from google themselves to avoid uh, bots and auto filling script to actually fill out the forms and keep uh, sending you emails you know which is going to spam your mailbox and all that so basically they, they want to make sure is when you have are you human just to make sure you are human basically you know so you have v2 and v3 so v3 is the latest and v2 is the one just before so we can you we can use v3 for instance so how can we set this up we need a uh, an api key and a secret key and for this all you have to do is just click on this link here it says link so just click on that there you go and you'll be redirected to this page and all you have to do basically is click the plus sign right here so click on this create and you can put a label so i'm just going to use the our url here so i'm just going to copy and paste this Control c Control v and we're going to use recaptcha v3 which is the best so we're going to add our domain copy this here again i accept this and then submit that's it very simple isn't it click on that okay and now we have a we have a side key and a secret key so now we're going to go back to our back end and copy this all you have to do is just copy click on this and then paste it here and then copy and then paste it here and then save and that's it our recaptcha v3 is set up now and then what do we have next form style and redirect so this is basically where you can fine tune the colors and make it your own so depending on the colors on your website your branding etc this is where you can change things around so basically this is using css code uh, i'm not going to go into this now obviously but if you know someone or if you are uh, handy with css code you can enter your custom code right here to tweak it around and then we have gdpr obviously uh, if you uh, you're dealing with information now you know you get names phone numbers and all that so do you want to let people know about about uh, the fact that you are gdpr compliant yes or no and then you tick this box then and then by using this form you agree with the storage and handling handling of your data by this website okay and then you can save it okay and now if we go and refresh again 
Let's quickly have a look. Yes, you can see here we have, by using this form, you agree with the storage and handling of your data uh, by this website. Now that's GDPR sorted now. And what do we have? Money format. So currency, you can put dollars, pounds, euros, whichever currency you're in. And then currency before price. So let's have a look now. I think at the moment it is after the price. Yes, as you can see, you know, $160 it's after, so it should be before. Yes, and hide price in service select. It's up to you. You can or not, or hide price altogether. So save. We're going to leave the price for now because it's handy to know how much it costs. So if you go select a location now, and then this, we can see that the dollar is rightly positioned in front now. So it's dollars eighty. And then we can select John Doe, and we're going to 1150, and that's it. So there you go, guys. This is how you can tweak and customize your uh, appointment form. And now let's take care of our next step, which is to look after the layout of our website. How can we customize our homepage and make it our own? And first of all, we're going to look after this point here, this get an appointment button. So we're going to link this to our booking system. So get an appointment here. And I believe there's one again at the bottom here, this one here. So we're going to link those two to our booking system. So how can we do this? Very simple again. Let me scroll back up. So we go to our WordPress dashboard and this time we're going to click on pages. And as you can see here, we have uh, two pages only, privacy policy and homepage because it's a one page website. We only have one page which is right here. This is a home page. So we're not going to change our home page yet. We're going to create a new one first. So we're going to click on add new. And we're going to put a name. So booking system. So you're going to click publish, publish. So now we've created our page and now we want to edit this with Elementor. And the reason being is because you'll have the header and the footer already done and it's much easier this way. So you click edit with Elementor. And that's going to bring us to Elementor itself. So as you can see, we have a header already and the footer and we can put anything we want here in the middle. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put our uh, um, appointment booking system right here in the middle. And you can put a heading as well and make it looking very nice. So how does Elementor work is very simple. On the left hand side, you have all the elements, all the things you can put on your website. And this is the preview of your page. And all you have to do basically is drag and drop just like this. As you can see, now we have a heading right here and it's going to create a section for us. And all we'll have to do from here is very simple. Just look for short. I'm going to select a short code. I'm going to drag and drop this here right in the middle in this box, just like that. And where we have enter your short code, we're going to type in this code here, a square bracket, EA underscore bootstrap, close square bracket, simple as, and then click update. Okay, so let's have a quick look so we can have a preview of our changes here. If you can click on the, the small eye icon, click on that. And this is what our page will look like. So you can select the location. So location one, we'll have routine check. We'll go with John Doe. We select the time. We have our fields and you can see GDPR and everything. So this is what our page looks like. So it's very easy, isn't it? Very nice and simple looking. Now, if you wanted to add a piece of content here on top, maybe you can do that as well. So we go back to our elements. And we select a heading and we're going to drag and drop this on top. There you go. So we have a heading. So book an appointment, just like that. And then just underneath, we can put maybe some text. So we have a text editor. So we can put that in between those two, just like that. So to book an appointment, please use the form below will send you a confirmation email uh, upon receipt just like that keep it simple you know and if you update 
Let's have a quick preview. Now we've booked an appointment. To book an appointment, please use the form below. We'll send you a confirmation email upon receipt. So it's very simple. But now, as you can see, there's a bit of a, it's a bit too close to the, the top, I'd say. Maybe you can add a bit of a, a spacing on top, you know. So what we can do is just click on this, on those six dots. And we're going to advanced. And we're going to add a padding or a margin on top. So you click on this one here, the link. And just on top, so you deactivate this one. You don't want it to be linked. And maybe we're going to put maybe, let's try 70. 70 should be fine. Okay, let's have a re re quick preview now again. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is much better, isn't it? Because you need a, a bit of a, a gap here in between those two. Uh, give a bit of a breathing space. So this is absolutely fine. And maybe you can you can tweak the background color a little bit just to make it stand out, you know? So if you go into style, and we can select background here, as you can see, open this, select the paintbrush, and then select the color. So I would go maybe with a, a light gray, not too too dark, maybe just, just to show the difference between the top and the, this section. And then click update. So let's have a quick look now. Yeah, that's a lot better, isn't it? Now we can see there's a, a differentiation between the top and the bottom. So we know clearly this is the book and appointment section. So we can select one, and then the services, etc., etc. So it's very easy. There you go. Very neat indeed. So let's go ahead and book an appointment, actually. So we can just put in our email address here. So hello at Mr. Web. Uh, reviews.com I'm going to put a name Mr. Web Reviews Description, so this is the description box Description Oh yeah, description, there you go And medical card, yes or no, I'm just going to put no And then you have to take this obviously for GDPR compliance And this is the, the review of your appointment Location 1, routine checks for $80 John Doe, $80 April the 9th at 12.20 So let's go ahead, let's click submit Okay, done As you can see the confirmation, this is done So let's go and have a look at the email I received now uh, as, uh, as the customer Okay, so this is the email I received as the customer Confirmation email so we have reservation one, because this is our first reservation. So thank you for booking an appointment on the April 9th, 2021 from 12.20 up until 12.50 at the London Clinic. So there you go, very simple. So these are all the, all the gibberish we had before the codes have been replaced with the actual uh, information related to this appointment. Okay, now let's head to our WordPress dashboard and see what it looks like. So we're going to easy appointments and appointments. There you go, and now you can, you can see we have an appointment there. So at the moment, it will be pending. You can see the status is pending. So you have to click on this now, edit, and confirm. So once you have it confirmed, just to confirm that you received it, so you can either click confirmed or reservation. So let's say confirmed, and then save. There you go. And you can change the settings here, or a few uh, uh, details as well, if you wanted to. You know, maybe... Maybe Joe Doe is not available that day. You can change to uh, someone else, maybe, you know. And then put a mention here in the description box, you know. Uh, sorry, uh, doctor such and such is not available, but uh, Dr. XYZ will look after you instead. And then you can save. And immediately, your customers will receive that confirmation as well. So let me show you the confirmation email I've received now. So this is the second email I received, this one here. So this is the first one. If you're using Gmail like I do, uh, usually your emails are nested together. So this is the first one and this is the se second one, the confirmation. And the difference between the two is, as you can see here, this is a confirmation email to let you know that your appointment booking, uh, is, your appointment is booked. So this is basically the confirmation email. Okay, I think that's all for our appointment booking system, I think. Uh, apart from vacation here, this is the last option we have. So vacation, you can add vacation, obviously. If you're on holiday at some stage, obviously you have to set this up so that no one can book during those dates for either yourself or any of your staffs or the doctors that'll be there. So now let's go back to our website. As you can see, we have the get appointment here 
and then book a free consultation and this one as well so you want to link this now to our actual booking system so let me show you how to do this so we go back to our page so we can close this now yes okay that's fine so first we're going to take care of our book an appointment uh, button in the menu section so for this we're going to go into appearance customize there you go so this one here basically we're going to change this now so if you click on the small pencil it will bring you to this section so first we're going to change this because get an appointment that's not correct so book book an appointment and then we need to link this to a page so where is our page so let's go back to our pages all pages and this is the booking system page that we created so as you can see we have view here so if you click on this this is bringing us to our actual page so what we can do is just copy this url Control c okay let's go back to this now and then we can paste it here so Control v so this is our url so if we publish now and we go back to our home page refresh and let's put this to the test so book an appointment click on this there you go we go straight to our booking system now so back to the home page let's try again book an appointment that's absolutely perfect yes so back to the home page again now let me show you how to customize the home page how to change the content the text and maybe the logo as well and let's address this uh, contact form here so book a free consultation so what's the difference between book an appointment and book a free consultation and should you keep both so that this is really up to you but normally a free consultation is when uh, you try to get people in uh, basically if you have a prospect someone that's not yet a customer that person can book a free consultation and you try to get them through your doors and then you convert them as a customer so this is the hook basically and you get them in with a free consultation and then you can turn them into a customer now book an appointment is uh, the other way around is for our existing customers yeah existing customers that actually want to book an appointment so this is a bit different now um it is possible for a prospect to book an appointment as well uh, it's really up to them but usually if they don't know the doctors or haven't met you before they might want to select and choose a free consultation instead so it is handy both ways you know so again it's really up to you you can keep both or you can remove it all together you can remove the form so i'm going to show you how to do that if you wanted to keep it or remove it either way i'm going to show you how to do this now so for this again we go back to our uh, elementor and as you can see this is our form here so this is just a column and that column is made out of different elements so this is a heading and this is our form right here so wp forms id number six so this basically a short call is when it's integrating uh, features from an, an additional plugin that's not part of that page in this case is wp wp forms so where are all the settings for that form very simply so we'll have, i've opened another window here so if you go back to your WordPress dashboard and in the menu bar here, you will see we have, where is it now, WP Forms right here. And so just click on it. And you can see here we have WP Form ID 6. So this is our form. So click on that. And this is a simple drag and drop uh, feature again that you can use. So you can tweak this around, of course, you know, and make it your own. So maybe instead of first name, last name, phone number, email and message, maybe you want something else. Maybe you want to ask a location where they're based or something like this. All you have to do basically is grab a single line and drop it. And there you go. You have an additional line that you can add. And if you don't want this one, you can just remove it using the bin icon. I'm just going to delete this for now because our form is absolutely fine the way it is. And then if we go into settings here, and you go into notifications and from here you want to enable it so it's off at the moment so make sure it is on and there you go and then you can save and now if someone sends an email through this uh, form you will receive it uh, via your email address so this is the email address that we set up initially in the wordpress settings now if you wanted to add another email address here you can simply delete this 
admin email and then type in your own uh, so hello at mrwebreviews.com okay and then save that's all the same both way will work so this is fine and then you can just close this and that's basically it that's you done for your form so this is basically how the, the content can be changed and tweaked around and make sure that it'll be sent to your own uh, email address now if you didn't want to have this form you wanted to get rid of it maybe you just want book an appointment you're happy enough we can do that as well so let me show you all you have to do basically is click on the column icon here you're going to style and we're going to remove the white background that's right here so as you can see that's the color here so we're going to disable that so we have no color anymore and you can click on this we can delete this right click delete right click delete and then right click delete and now you have a much smaller header obviously because there's no forms here but now you don't have any form anymore you get can you can get rid of it basically you know so let's have a quick preview and there you go this is what our page looks like at the moment so it's a little bare but it's not bad actually you know uh, i don't think anyone will notice you know, there's nothing wrong with that so maybe you can add another icon here maybe book an appointment or something else or maybe book an appointment right here underneath just the same button maybe as this one here so i'm going to show you how you can do that we can copy this one maybe right underneath it so we go back to our page scroll down to the bottom we grab a button here this one here right click on it copy and we're going to paste it right on top here just underneath this so on click on this icon right click and then paste and this will go straight at the bottom like this okay and then we're going to add maybe a bit of gap in between the two or maybe let me try now let's put it here no that doesn't look great at all so let's leave it here and just going to add a bit of spacing at the bottom advanced so we're going to put a bit of padding at the bottom uh, maybe 50 oh not all of them remove this no 50 sorry and there you go and then update and let's have a quick preview again so there you go so get brighter smile from london's best dentist book an appointment straight there so it's really up to you now you can have the form or you cannot have you can add a book an appointment uh, there's another button right there it's really up to you so that's it now for this so let me go back to the original settings i think it looked great with the with the the form so i'm just gonna go back to maybe where were we now this one here this one yes i think that's it no that's it so we're back to the original settings now for the rest of the page you can change everything around the way you want it so how can you customize the rest of the page again it's very intuitive very simple with elementor all you have to do is just hover on top of the item you want to change and just click on the pencil and they just go and change the content so if i was to put an exclamation mark as you can see it reflects automatically we can see that in our preview right there so i'm just going to leave it like this for now but you get the gist and if you wanted to change let's say the background picture here you can click on the six dots because this is the background of the section itself so you go in there and you go in, click into style and as you can see this is our picture here and we have a background overlay as well as you can see these are our two colors so we have one color here one color there so if you wanted to change the color for instance you wanted to go for let me copy this so Control c just to be sure so let's say if you wanted a different color you can change this as well or maybe you only want one color in which case you could just remove this one or make both of them the same and then let's go back to a background picture if you wanted to change the picture basically just go there uh, sorry let me show you again uh, click on the picture itself and then select files and you're going to point that to the picture on your hard drive so i went ahead and found two pictures here so i think this one here it is yeah open so you want to make sure that your picture for the background is uh, big enough so at least 1920 by 1080 so a 1080p resolution you know 
So this one is 2048 by 1152, which is fine. So insert media. And as you can see, we have a new picture now in the background. So it's up to you really. You can change it or keep the original one all the same. So that's how you change the background and this. So let's go back to this one now. If you wanted to change this, you can change the pictures. So let's say you wanted to change this one. Click on it. Click on the picture itself. Upload file. Select file. And then put it a new picture. Upload. Insert media. And there you go. As you can see, we have a different picture now. It's very simple, isn't it? Very intuitive. And it's a just drag and drop. And in just a few clicks, no coding involved whatsoever. So just click update when you're happy enough. And you can do the same with all your text and content and everything the same. So as you can see, we have different sections and all that. So if you wanted to change the order of your sections, you can grab them as well, you know, and move them around. You see like this. I'm just going to leave it where it is at the moment. It's fine. And you can basically do the same with all the different sections, all the different elements. And just let's see here at the bottom. Let me show you just the Google Map uh, feature here. So all you have to do basically is to type in your address here. So we have here 117 Crown Street, London and the postcode. So it's just uh, Google Maps. So you can just type in the postcode immediately. So let WC2H9JQ, WC2H9JQ. So this is an address in central London. So there you go. You could just type in the postcode as well. This will work fine. And uh, you can zoom in and zoom out. So 16 and then 17. So you're zooming out now, is it? No, zooming in, zooming in. So the bigger the number, the closer you are from your target. And then the bigger, and then you're zooming out, basically. The smaller the number, the more you're getting away from it. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, as you can see, we have a footer here, but we cannot edit uh, the footer straight from Elementor, not from this section anyways. So for this, let me show you right now how we do that. So we have to leave this. So we click Update to save our page. Then we leave this page. Now exit to dashboard. Exit again. And then from here, we go into Appearance. And then we go into Customize again. Nearly there. And we have our footer somewhere. Where is it? Footer Builder right here. There you go. So this is what our footer looks like. So we have call us, the phone number, reach us, opening hours, and uh, follow us with the social media. So let's say you wanted to change your phone number here. So click on this. And this is basically a simple text editor. So you can put plus four, four, one, two, three, four. Three, one, three, four. And then the same again, maybe plus four, four, and then one, two, three, four, another number, just like this, okay? So this is how you change the content. And let me show you quickly how you change the uh, social media icons here. So these are basically social icons, as you can see. So you have Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Reviews, Yelp. So let's say you click on this, and you can put the address here. So instead of the hashtag, you're going to put actually the link to your Facebook page right here so uh, instead of the hashtag and you can do the same with linkedin you can do the same with google review and the same with yelp now let's say you don't have uh, linkedin or or maybe don't have linkedin but you have a youtube account let's say so you just go here and select among those so you can see you have uh, behance dribble uh, your email address even facebook group github instagram uh, patreon so that's very nice. Reddit, Twitter, Vimeo, WhatsApp, uh, and YouTube. So let's say we want to add YouTube. You click add an icon. And then again, you open it and you're going to put your uh, uh, URL right here. So the, the link to your um, YouTube channel. That's it. And then as always, click update, publish, and that's it. This is how you can change your footer section. So the last thing now is just to change our logo on top so if you scroll back on top now so click on the logo itself and to change your logo all you have to do is click on the logo itself right here click on this and then you select your file you're going to upload your logo now so i found one online 
for dental practice. This is one here. Okay. And then select. And as you can see, it's advising you to crop it. But maybe you don't want to, but maybe we're just going to crop it anyways. It's probably better, you know. Okay. So crop image. There you go. So we now we have this logo, as you can see. It's very nice. It looks professional as well. So maybe your logo is a bit too small or maybe too big or the other way around. And you can change this by just grabbing this and, and uh, using the slider here and make it a bit bigger. So there you go. So family dental. Oops, there you go. So that's it. Very nice, isn't it? So we're going to keep this for now and keep and click publish. And now let's have a quick review of our website. So let's go back to our website here. So let's refresh. So now we have Family Dental, our own logo. We have a book an appointment. We have book a free consultation form. The content of our page has been changed with our own pictures as well. And we have our own address here at WC2H9JQ on Shelton Street in London. And we change our footer section with our own social media. Okay guys, so that's all for now. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It will really help grow this channel. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate, drop one question in the comment section. I'll endeavor to reply to everyone as fast as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.